unless that's you. These RAs really do not check the rooms. You can get in real trouble for that. Put some of that stuff away. Unpack some stuff. Have some shower shoes on. Pick up your hair. Monday at 2 a.m. you're washing your clothes. Not because you're dirty. Like, ain't these campus security? What? Ooh, this is bright. Let's get this thing started. Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Chiner, but I go by Chi, and welcome back or welcome to my channel. As y'all can tell by the title of this video, I will be doing a what to expect. That's not the title. I will be doing a what to expect while living in a dorm. Um, so basically I'm going to be giving y'all all the information you need to know about how living in a dorm will be like. Like how is your life going to change while living in a dorm. Um, I have all my notes written up on my trusty dusty iPad, you know, given to me by a &T. Majority of y'all are freshmen and y'all will probably be getting iPads too. Big Aggie pride for that. But um, let's get straight into the video. I have a lot that I want to tell y'all and yeah. As y'all can see, I am in a different background. I am in my house's living room because, you know, I want to switch it up for y'all. But like I said, let's get straight into the video. Um, I have it mostly in order, but y'all know me. I definitely like say stuff at random. So hopefully I'll stick to the order, but no promises. But the first thing that I'm going to be talking about, like the first topic that I have about like what to expect while you're living inside a dorm is your moving day. So as y'all know, we are one month away from moving day. I know my freshmen, I know y'all are excited. I'm excited for y'all. It's gonna be an amazing year, but let's talk about how moving day is gonna work as a freshman in a dorm. So number one, it will be very hot. And when I say very hot, I mean very hot. And you have to think about it like this. You're gonna have over like hundreds of people moving in at the same time as you are and it's like it's a lot of people and mind you it's not only them it's also their family members as well so they're going to be hundreds hundreds of people inside the same building as you and a lot of times they don't have ac in the actual like open area of the dorm like the i guess it would be like the welcome room of the dorm so it's going to be hot so you want to dress comfortable and you don't want to dress heavy so you want to dress very light very like t-shirts shorts some slides and keep it pushing you don't want to wear jeans or like thick leggings or thick sweatpants unless that's you if that's you and you can do that go ahead um the next thing um you're gonna have to do a survey like when you first like when you check in they're gonna give you your key and they're gonna make you do a survey of the room and make sure it's okay when you do that survey do not say that your room is in perfect condition don't say that your room is in perfect condition in case you break anything throughout the year because let's say you say your room is in perfect condition and then the ra goes and checks and then she sees cracks in your wall or he sees cracks in your wall or like holes in your wall and stuff like that you will get fined and those fines are not small fines those are heavy fines that will be on your bill and you'll be paying extra so don't say your room is in perfect condition do say like there's some mistakes and stuff like that don't say it's in perfect condition especially if you know like you're a person that's gonna mess up your room when you are like decorating for your room and stuff like that because you're in a dorm you can get fined for like having um holes in your walls or like drilling holes in your walls so use command strips um it one it's easier to take down as well and like you won't get fined so use command strips when you're doing decorations or like putting stuff up just use command strips it's your best option and then also when you're living in a dorm regardless of which dorm you're staying in it's not going to be like your room in your house you're going to have limited amount of space to put all your things so don't bring your whole life you don't need that many clothes i'm talking to you right now you do not need that many clothes, okay? You don't. Put some of that stuff away. Unpack some stuff. But yeah, you have a limited amount of space. So use it wisely. Um, storage containers while living in a dorm will be your best, 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 best friend. Like using storage, storage containers will allow you to have that space that you need if you need it. Um, a lot of these dorms are super small, especially if you're staying in Barbie. Barbie or Haley, they have like the smallest dorm. No, Barbie, Haley, and Van Story have like the smallest dorms on campus. And majority of y'all are gonna be staying in those dorms because y'all are freshmen. So Barbie, 
Haley, Van Story, if you're staying there, let, I'm gonna let you know you have a limited amount of space just to sleep and you also have a limited amount of space in your closet and underneath your bed. So be mindful, like be very mindful of that. Also, another thing while living in a dorm, especially like if you live on like, let's say the second, third, fourth, fifth, depending on what dorm you stay, if you live in those dorm, like those floors that are not the first floor, um, a lot of these dorms only have one elevator or none. Um, I know Van Story for a fact does not have an elevator. So if you're living in Van Story, especially during move-in day and you have to be like going up and down the stairs, um, yeah, you don't have an elevator. So be prepared to be going up and down those stairs with your heavy boxes, heavy loads. Um, I know Barbie's elevator is very shaky and stuff like that, but majority of these dorms either have one elevator or they have none. That's it. They only have one elevator or they have none. So... Be very mindful of that, especially like if you live on like the, the second, third, or fourth floor, or fifth or sixth if you're staying in Barbie. Um, each dorm has RAs. Um, don't be afraid of your RAs. Your RAs are students like you. A lot of these RAs were just freshmen last year, so don't be afraid of them. I will say like get to know them, especially like while you're living in a dorm. You want to get to know your RAs, like have commu like communication with them because. They're the people you're gonna go to if you have any problems with your room and stuff like that. And you don't wanna like have bad blood with them or just like not know them or like not know who to speak to. So definitely get to know your RAs because it helps. It will help. And also, again, RAs are like in my grade or like in the grade above me. They're students like y'all. Each dorm, like each specific room in each dorm comes with a mini fridge and a microwave. So it comes with a fridge at the bottom microwave on top so don't worry about having you don't need to bring your own fridge unless you want your own like space because I know a lot of y'all are going to have like roommates or suite mates if you want your own fridge for yourself you can bring one but you don't have to because each dorm comes with a microwave and a fridge but there are no stoves or ovens I think there's like one dorm that has like a stove or oven but nobody uses it I think it's like Morris is it more is it Holly? one of the all girls dorms have like a stove and oven but nobody uses it so you're only gonna have a mini fridge and a microwave. Also with each dorm, every single dorm, so regardless of what dorm, if it's a dorm on campus, you're gonna have a twin XL bed. You're gonna be sleeping on a twin XL bed if you're living in a dorm. I know that might hurt your feelings a little bit because like a lot of y'all are used to sleeping in your full size or your queen or your king size bed back at home, but you're gonna be sleeping in a twin XL bed. And I tell, I'm telling you this right now, that twin XL bed will give you the best sleep that you've ever had if you get the right mattress um pad like either i would say get a three inch gel memory foam mattress stopper mattress pad and you will sleep well in that bed those beds will give you the best sleep that you've ever had so even though it's a twin xl and it is small you can make it work um and also again it's small but you can fit two people on that bed yeah oh another thing um while living in a dorm you're probably gonna in your dorm you're gonna have like a group me your ras are gonna create a group me you want to join that group me because um ras are gonna check your room once a month i do quotes on once a month because these ras really do not check the rooms like especially at a t like i only had room checks maybe four times the whole school year yeah about four times the whole school year so they don't check it often, but you want to know when they're checking it because you don't want anything in your room, like you don't want to have anything out, like out in plain sight that your RAs can see. If you don't, if you have those things that you're not supposed to have in your room, don't have them out in plain sight, especially when your RAs are checking your room because you will get fined or you will get in trouble. Also, do not cover up your smoke alarm. Do not put a plastic bag over it. Do not put a sock over it because you will get fined. You will have to, you will get fined. You'll also have to like go to this meeting so they can see what type of situation it is because you can get in real trouble for that. So don't cover up your um, smoke alarm. Big no-no. Don't cover it up. Like I said, these RAs don't really be doing room checks. But they do do room checks. If you're living in a dorm, they, your room will get checked at least once or twice the whole school year. Not a lot, but at least once or twice. When you're living in a dorm, like no matter where you are on campus, if you live in a dorm on campus, you're gonna be closer to everything on campus and everything that's happening on campus compared to everyone else. 
like um you are walking distance from everything if you're on the south side you are super close to um williams which is the big calf you're also close to the holland bowl which is where they throw certain things you're also closer to um i forget but like you're while living on campus you're gonna be close to stuff you're gonna be walking distance to stuff so like Yes, sometimes a dorm is not what you want or anything like that, but you will be a lot closer to everything that's going on on campus than a lot of the other classes. And also you will be um, in the loop of everything that's happening around campus. Like let's say they have a pop-up thing at the student center, you're gonna be in the loop and you're gonna know about it before people that are off campus know about it. So I did what to expect while living in a dorm during your moving day. Um, I gave you all the basics of how the rooms are set up I also gave y'all um, about the RAs and stuff like that. The next thing I have concerning like how what to expect while living in a dorm is like the whole bathroom. I know this is a real big thing, especially when you're in college, like sharing a bathroom with people and stuff like that. So I'm gonna get into what you should expect while um, sharing a bathroom, living in community style hall, all of that. I was lucky enough that I only had to share a bathroom with my roommate, but that is not the case for everybody. And even though I shared a bathroom with my roommate, I still had issues and stuff like that. I still know things that you should still expect because a lot of my friends lived in community styles, um, sweet styles, stuff like that. Me personally, I didn't have to deal with the community style or sweet style. I just shared a bathroom with my roommate. But most of y'all, especially this year, will be living in those community style, sweet style. So let me give y'all the tea on what to expect with those bathrooms. So with A&T, we have three or four different types of bathroom. We have like the private bathroom, which is a bathroom you share, like if you're in a single, which most of y'all probably aren't, but if you are in a single, like a private room, private, private room, you're gonna be having a bathroom with yourself. But those are very rare and usually they're not for freshmen. Then the next thing that we have is the um, double deluxe rooms which are in villages and you share a bathroom with your um, roommate so it's two people so I had a double deluxe I technically had handicap room but it was technically a double deluxe so I shared a bathroom with just my roommate then you have suite style which is um, suite style bathrooms are in the halls of pride villages which is Richmond Blair, McNeil, and McCain, um, Barbie, Sweets E, and Sweets F. So yeah, all those halls that I just named have suite style bathrooms. And when it's a suite style bathroom, you're basically gonna be sharing a bathroom with bathroom slash sinks with a certain amount of people. And that amount of people can be two to four, except in Barbie. In Barbie, you're gonna be sharing that those bathrooms and sinks with seven to eight people which is less than community style um, halls, surprisingly. But yes, in suite styles, you're gonna be sharing a bathroom with a certain amount of people, um, either two to four, if you're in Pride or Villages, which is Richmond, Blair, McNeil, and McCain, or Sweet E and Sweets F. And then if you're in Barbie, you're gonna be sharing with about seven to eight people. So Haley, Pride, Villages, which is Richmond, McCain, McNeil, and Blair, Barbie, Sweets E, and Sweets F all have sweet styled bathrooms. So like I said, you'll be sharing it with a certain amount of people. Then we have the halls that sh do community style bathrooms, which is gonna be your gender specific halls. So it's gonna be Curtis, Cooper, um, Spite Hall, which used to be Morrison, Morrow, um, Van Story, and Holland. So all those gender specific dorms are going to have community style bathrooms and when it comes to community style bathrooms you're gonna have to share a bathroom with the whole floor in each bathroom there's i think there's like about four showers and like a few sinks but you're going to be sharing that bathroom with your whole hall there's two people in each room and they have a, i don't know how many rooms they have but it's going to be a lot of people that you're going to be sharing a bathroom with that's the difference between each type of dorm. So if you're gonna be in one of those gender specific, gender specific dorms, be prepared that you're gonna be sharing a bathroom with your whole floor. If you're gonna be in one of those suite style bathroom halls, like co-ed dorms, be prepared to share a bathroom with a less amount of people, but you're still gonna have to share a bathroom unless you're in a private, which majority of y'all are not. So another thing about the bathrooms, regardless if 
regardless on the amount of people you're sharing a bathroom with have shower shoes those floors are nasty not because of your roommates or your suite mates or whoever or your floor but they just they're just nasty in general they're gonna get nasty especially because you're dirty walking in to that bathroom and also a lot of people are dirty you don't know who these people are you don't know where their feet have been where their body has been so have shower shoes because as a person why are you putting your bare feet on a floor that's not yours like why are you doing that why are you doing that don't do that that's nasty that is so nasty but please 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 if there's one thing that you can bring with you in the bathroom i don't care if it's your soap i don't care if it's your body wash i don't care if it's your toothbrush toothpaste have some shower shoes on please I don't care if you're sharing a bathroom with just one other person. Have shower shoes on. These bathrooms are nasty. That's number one. Like, number one thing for me. Have shower shoes. Please and thank you. And you can get shower shoes. You can get flip-flops from the dollar store, and that will work as your shower shoes. They're not expensive. Just have something on your feet while you're taking a shower in those dorms. Because the floors are nasty. I don't know how many times I've said nasty, but y'all understand, okay? The next thing I'm going to talk about, because I know a lot of girls are going to be asking these questions on like, what should I do during wash days? I'm going to tell y'all. I'll say this, while you're living in a dorm, wash days are going to be tricky, especially if you're natural, because I'm natural. Wash days are going to be tricky, but your best option, regardless if you are in a sweet style, if you're in a community style, it doesn't matter. This is your best option to wash, like how to wash your hair while in college what you're gonna do is you're gonna step into your shower yes you're gonna wash in the shower you're gonna wash your hair in the shower you can wash it in the sink but me personally the quickest and easiest way for me to wash and do all my stuff is i wash my hair in the shower so what you're gonna do is you're gonna wash your hair in the shower first you're gonna do your shampoo all of that rinse it out put your conditioner in your hair in the shower then while your conditioner is sitting sitting on top of your hair you're gonna wash the rest of your body Take your time to wash the rest of your body, clean everything like that. Then you're gonna, at the same time, you're gonna wash out that conditioner from your hair and also rinse the soap off of your body. You may wanna like wash your hair, like wash your body again after you get the conditioner out, but washing your conditioner and your body soap the first time out like together will make it quicker, faster. You don't have to worry about putting your head in the sink to wash it with the sink water you can do it all in the showers that is like the best option to do during wash days in community style or sweet style bathrooms regardless of where you're staying at and also clean up after yourself because people will leave their hair in the drain and that is nasty people will leave their hair on the floor that is nasty pick up your hair yeah wash days in a dorm they're gonna be hard they're gonna be hard but you'll get used to it like you'll find a routine yeah y'all will figure it out but i'm letting y'all know this now washing your hair while on campus like while living in a dorm is not gonna be easy it's not gonna be easy especially if you're natural it's not gonna be easy um i think that's all i have for the bathroom um now i'm gonna get into like the actual like stuff that's inside the whole dorm building and everything like that but the next thing that i have is that you will be sharing one laundry room with the entire resident building so like the entire building that you stay in if you stay in barbie you're going to be sharing a laundry room with the whole barbie i think i'm pretty sure if you're in van story you're going to be sharing the laundry room with the whole people in van story so that's a lot of people to be sharing one laundry room that has like six washers and six dryers if y'all don't know a lot of these people's cleaning days like doing their laundry and stuff is going to be on saturday and sunday you don't want to wash your clothes on saturday and sunday it will be such a struggle for you you're going to end up only having one dryer or one washer and then not being able to dry your clothes for like the next four or five hours you want to wash your clothes and do like your whole wash like laundry routine in a random day of the week do it after you finish your classes one day like do it on a monday or a tuesday or a thursday friday i know for me specifically i did i think it was second semester yeah yeah it was second semester what i did is i didn't have classes on thursday so i would use thursday morning to do my laundry because nobody was in the laundry room at that time so i didn't have to worry about 
um, people trying to take my clothes or not having enough um, washers for my clothes and stuff like that. So you do not want to wash your clothes on Saturday or Sunday because everyone else is trying to wash their clothes on Saturday and Sunday. Be different. But yeah, like I said, you, and while living in a dorm, you will be sharing a laundry room with majority of um, the whole building. Um, I know there are some dorms that have like a single washer and dryer on like the third floor i think that's in that's in villages but not all those dorms have that not all those dorms have that so you want to wash on a random day a random day at a random time monday at 2 a.m you're washing your clothes another thing regardless of where you stay like where you stay on campus regardless of what dorm you stay in regardless if it's an honors dorm or it's a dorm on the south side your hot water will be shut off for a couple hours or even some days. At one point that you're staying on A&T's campus and A&T's dorms, your hot water will be off. You won't have hot water. And it, don't, it doesn't matter where you stay. You could be staying in the honors dorms. You won't have hot water. I remember we didn't have hot water for three days straight. I was taking ice cold showers for three whole days. And I was in an honors dorm. So be mindful of that while living in a dorm on A&T's campus your hot water will be turned off for a few hours a day a couple days so if you have a friend that stays on a different dorm that has hot water ask them if they can use your hot water or something like that but just be very mindful of that also regardless of where you stay no matter if it's the honors dorms or on the south side you will smell and you will hear certain things because these walls are thin when i say you will hear things you will hear things you will hear things. We are all adults. Mm -hmm. We are all adults living on campus, you know, coming of age. So you will hear things. The walls are thin. So be very mindful of that. Um, also, you will smell certain things because people do certain things on campus. So also be mindful of that. No dorm smells regular. Well, maybe sometimes, but not all the times. One of these days, your hall or your or the whole dorm or like one of the halls in your room, like in your building is gonna smell a little different. A little different. But that is all, that goes throughout all dorms on ANT's campus. So that's something to expect as well. Also, no matter where you stay on campus, there will be bugs you will probably see at least like one bug in your room and it's not because you're dirty not because you're dirty not because you're dirty it's just i don't know something about ant's campus attracts roaches like and the roaches are not regular roaches like these are demonic alien roaches that don't die so just have that bug spray on you that um raid killer have it on you have it in your list of stuff to get for your dorm because you will probably see a couple bugs while being on campus even if you don't see them in your room you will see them in your hall or you will see them in your building um or you'll see them in your friend's dorm or room or hall or building or in your classroom so just be mindful of that that's something regular to have it's not regular but it's something that you should expect while living in a dorm while spe like while you're living in a dorm if you want your room to be clean just be clean like just be clean if you want your room to be clean keep your side clean don't be dirty because you don't have a lot of space in your room in the first place if you're dirty in the space that you have in your first place well if you're dirty in your place you're not gonna have anywhere to stay. You're just gonna feel depressed. You're gonna feel upset. So just keep it clean. Do weekly cleanings. Keep it clean. Another thing that I will tell you, people are nasty. People are nasty. Girls are nasty, boys are nasty, adults are nasty. Everyone is nasty. Well, not everyone, but there are a lot of people in this world that are nasty. So be mindful of that because you will definitely see some things that you should not see, but will see because you are on a college campus living with people from all different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. So you might see pee in your toilet, poop in your toilet, hair on the floor. Sometimes there are pads on the floor, period, blood on the floor. So be mindful of that when you are... Um, living in a dorm because like i said people come from all different backgrounds and stuff like that so they're not all clean they're not all respectable so you'll see a lot of stuff on the floor in things in the sinks 
yeah people are nasty depending on where you stay security is either going to be very lenient or they're going to be very strict if you stay in a gender specific dorm security is going to be a lot more secure and when i say the gender specific dorms i'm talking about for boys it's curtis and cooper and then for girls it's van story morrow morrison which just which just changed their name to spite so it's now spite hall in holland um so security is going to be a lot more um secure especially after visitation hours so after 12 security is going to be a lot more secure but I will say this, A&T's camp, like, A&T's campus security, I don't know what it is, but they're different. They don't, they be sleeping, they be outside smoking, talking, they don't, it depends on who you have, but a lot of the security don't be, they just be there. They don't be checking, they just be there. But yeah, take that, take what I said in mind. A&T's campus security, they just be there a lot of times. But they're a little bit more secure on the gender specific dorms. Not that secure, but securer. Another thing while living on campus and living on a dorm, like in a dorm, you're not gonna have any curfew. Um, nobody's gonna be telling you when you have to come back to your room. So if you wanna stay up until, stay out until 5 a.m., you can. Um, nobody's gonna tell you, oh, we need to be in your dorm at so-and-so time. Well, that's what A&T's campus specifically. I know there are some campuses that have like curfews for people living on campus, like in their dorms, but A&T is not one of them. Another thing, people will be throwing parties, kickbacks, game nights in their dorms and stuff like that. So be mindful of that. There will be people walking in and out of your dorm, regardless of where you stay, because they're gonna be parties. Also, another thing to be mindful of when you live in a dorm is that you're going to have to move out during winter break and spring break um you don't necessarily have to like move out move out like take all your stuff with you you just can't be inside your room during those time periods because the residence halls are closed um i think you can stay there if you like get in a special request but majority of the time you will just be like leaving take like going back home during spring break and winter break you'll be quote unquote moving out just be leaving um i don't think i have anything else to add in the video i think i said everything i wanted to say um oh one more thing you're in a dorm living on campus make the best of it because you'll be staying there for a whole year it's going to basically be a lot of y'all's first time away from your parents so enjoy it do what you need to do stuff like that but have a good time i know it's not what you like really want but being in a dorm is not that bad it's not that bad you will enjoy your time there so make the most of it make it as comfy as possible make it at like your home away from home have fun in your dorm um i think i'm done with this video though so if y'all have any specific questions about any specific dorms you can ask them below in the comment section if you have any specific specific questions about dorm life you can also leave those in the comment section i will answer all of them make sure that you guys like comment subscribe share this video with your friends and make sure to stay in tune for my next video and i will see you guys later bye